want to know how to message like a boss and have women eager to go on dates with you, watch this video. Hey guys, it's Katya Morozova, dating and relationship coach for men who are ready to attract an amazing woman and have a meaningful connection. I'm also the founder of katyamorozova.me. If you're new to my channel and you want to see videos every week on how you can attract a classy woman into your life, then definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. In this video, I'm gonna share four messaging do's and don'ts so that you know exactly where you're going wrong when you're messaging and what to do instead. This is the exact tips and formulas that I give to my one-on-one -on -one clients, so be sure to pay attention because it does land them awesome dates with high quality, feminine, and beautiful women. Let's start with tip number one. So tip number one, let's start with the don'ts. So so here's a mistake that I see men make all the time on online dating sites and on Hinge. They message women, hi. They message some variation of the following. Hi, hey, how are you? How's your weekend? Or how's it going? Or hello. So those are about six variations that I see very often. Here's the problem with this. As a woman on a dating site, what happens is your inbox looks like a sea of the same message. So a guy will message you, you'll have six, 10, 20 rows of guys just saying hi to you online. So what happens when, when a woman sees this in her inbox is she has to do her own filtering process to try to figure out which guy she's going to talk to. She's not gonna talk to all of them because she doesn't have time. So what she's going to do is she's going to then maybe look at your profile or look at your photos if she only has generic messages. But if she sees a message from a guy who gives her a creative hello, a creative greeting, or it has some curiosity about her, she's going to give that guy the most attention. So that's what you wanna do. You want to get creative instead of being generic in your greeting. A few ways that you can do that is instead of saying hi, you can say hiya, or you can say howdy, or you can say konnichiwa, or you can say hola. Anything that is a little bit more creative and grabs her attention because again, unlike your inbox, women are the ones that were the receptors of all of your messages, right? Women typically don't send the first message. Most of the time guys send first messages. I know it's a bummer, but nonetheless, that is how this game is played. So if you are the one that gets creative by sharing a creative greeting with her and then following it up with some kind of curiosity, you're just going to naturally stick out of the crowd and you're going to get so much more attention than if you just say hi. So again, never send a standalone greeting as a first message. Just never do that. Always get give a creative hello and then follow it up with some kind of curiosity about her or something to share about your own life. Now I want to hear it from you. Tell me, what is one creative greeting that you can try on Hinge this week when you message? Let me know in the comments below what you're going to try. Let's move on to tip number two. So tip number two, let's talk about the don't first. So don't ask for a date in your first message. I see a lot of guys do this. I've heard a lot of women complain about this. And the reality is that you're just moving too fast. This person doesn't know you. They don't have any sense of rapport with you. So if you're sending a message saying, you know, it might be innocent enough, like, hey, let's grab a glass of wine at this place, or let's do this, or something seemingly innocent, right? And you're not thinking anything of it. You're not trying to take advantage of her. You just wanna go grab a drink or a coffee or whatever. Nonetheless, she doesn't know you. And what's going to happen, it's going to feel like a record scratch for her. She's going to say, this is moving really fast, and it will feel like you're crossing her, kind of her boundary. And usually because a woman doesn't know you, she's not going to respond and say, hey, you know, maybe this is moving a little bit too fast. She's probably just going to ignore the message and pay attention to the guy who knows how to keep the pace. Don't shoot yourself in the foot by doing this thing where you ask for a date in your first message. What you wanna do instead is you want to go back and forth a few times. 
maybe four to six times and you want to start to feel like there's a connection growing that there's like some kind of emotional energetic flow between the two of you maybe you're joking or you have something in common you're joking about something or you have something in common that you're connecting over then it would be a really good time to transition to a date and start to ask for her phone number. You can even hint at going out if you guys are talking about something where she's like, oh, I really wanna go to this place, but don't jump right to it. Build a connection, build rapport. This way, when you do that, you're gonna have so many fewer women ghosting you, and you're gonna have so many more women leaning in and actually wanting to go on dates with you. So that's tip number two. Tip number two, let's talk about tip number three. So tip number three is, let's talk about the don'ts. So don't comment on a woman's looks. Again, women get so many messages in their inbox. You're so beautiful, you're so gorgeous. It's a very common message that women get. So a lot of times women will tune that out just as much as a guy just saying hello to them. Imagine being in your inbox, getting compliments for to from total strangers. It's basically like a guy cat calling a woman on the street. That's kind of how a woman experiences a guy complimenting her online. I know that sounds a little bit extreme, but when you get so many messages commenting on your looks, it feels a bit objectifying to women, and so women get really tired of that. I was watching a YouTube video of this girl who was online dating and she said something really funny that I thought was really interesting and I wanted to share this with you she said of course you think I'm pretty you matched with me and I thought gosh that's so true if you matched with a woman online of course you think she's beautiful otherwise you wouldn't have chosen her to match with it's kind of like um, duh yeah you do think that she's beautiful and so a woman always wants to know well what else like what's next so I get it you think I'm pretty you want to go out with me what else do you want to know about me that is how a woman feels whenever you comment on her looks is it feels a little bit obvious so here's what to do instead is instead of commenting on her looks I'm gonna give you two tips here okay one if you are going to comment on her looks comment on something unique and specific like if she has really cute glasses on comment on her glasses or if she has purple lipstick on comment on her purple lipstick or if you notice she has some kind of tattoo in one of her photos then ask her about that better yet comment on a f the photo the the location that she's in comment on the scenery on the background ask her where she is and what that was like for her but really on hinge you have prompts that you can respond to you don't have to just reply to her photos and how she looks, you can ask her about what she says in her prompts. So I would recommend that you focus on commenting on her prompts and getting into a conversation that is other than her looks. It's gonna give you like a topic for you to actually dig into, right? If you comment on a woman's looks, all she's gonna say is, thank you and then what right but if you start to comment on something specific to her if you comment on something that you found interesting then that's gonna open up an entirely new conversation so that's tip number three is instead of commenting on a woman's looks comment on a prompt or something specific and unique that you notice about her let's talk about tip number four don't ask her a billion questions and this is a tricky one because you're like katya you asked me to get curious about her i'm getting curious and now you're telling me not to be too curious about her i get it i get it online dating is tough but really online dating is not meant to share your life story or ask for hers. It's actually meant to make a very short, sweet and quick connection so that you can get feel for each other and then get the heck offline so that you can go out and really get to know each other. If you think you're going to learn everything about a woman online, you're not. She can filter what she's saying. You can't see the look on her face whenever she answers questions. Or even if you're really curious about her and you just want to know this information save that let like savor that until the first date so the first don't is don't ask her a billion questions don't even ask her three questions in fact I would recommend that you stick to one question per message 
because here's what happens whenever you ask her a bunch of questions on a dating site is she tunes out. She's like, holy crap, I have to type all of this and I don't even know this person. Remember that a woman has a very low investment with you online. You are a perfect stranger, just as you should be thinking about her as a perfect stranger that you have a low investment. So ask her one question. Let her know that you're curious, but also let her do some work as well. Let her answer the question. Let her ask you one back. Besides, there's nothing more annoying than asking a woman a bunch of questions and sharing a bunch about yourself only to get no response back. So it's easier to actually just have a lower investment in the beginning and let your investment and curiosity grow as that is matched back to you by her behavior and by the message that she sends back to you. Now that we've covered the four do's and don'ts, I wanted to know if you want my client's case study. It's how my client Hector went from socially anxious and isolated to creating an abundant dating life with feminine, beautiful, educated women, and how he did that by joining my program, The Confident Man. The link to that case study will be in the description below so check it out did you like this video if you did go ahead and hit the like button if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you want to get reminders every week when I drop a video showing you exactly how to attract a classy woman and have a meaningful connection then definitely hit the subscribe button now watch these videos next if you want to be the confident and secure man that she desires and attract a classy, beautiful, intelligent woman into your life. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.